Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitters for this basic Sorgonomics for July 1st, 2015, post social media day hangover. We'll get into that in a moment. Pinterest is the topic of the day. Please check out everything going on, including my newsletter. You can sign up over at Sorgatron.com and please subscribe to everything else happening uh, tech, social media, all kinds of stuff at uh, SorgatronMedia.com. Uh, so let's get into it. Uh, oh, also respond to me directly, comments, and, and then Twitter at Sorgatron. Pinterest has been one of those things, you know, I've been writing recently and, and talking recently about LinkedIn. And I, you know, and I understand somebody read that it has been giving LinkedIn another shot as well. Apparently a couple of you guys out there. And I really appreciate the feedback in that regard. Uh, so now I'm going to see if you can do the same thing on Pinterest. And actually some of you guys actually uh, convinced me on Pinterest uh, worth today. Actually, it was at social media day this evening. <clears throat> uh, down there at Left Field Studios at the great Smith Brothers Agency. Uh, the second year they've done this as part of the nationwide social media day, I guess. But uh, they had a really good uh, set of speakers, and I might talk about the, uh, uh, the the bulk of the local speakers here at a later date as I'm, I'm still kind of digesting a lot of that information because there was a lot of information shoehorned in. But we had somebody from Pinterest talking about Pinterest. It was a very general, what, this is why Pinterest is an important kind of thing. That's fine, okay. And, and actually, really good discussions about some of the things coming up, like I think it was cinematic pins and... and, and um, and uh, 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 you know, pins you can buy from, and, and those are going to be very important coming up. But I think talking about uh, the demographics and the purpose of Pinterest, oof, purpose of Pinterest, supporting Pittsburgh podcast with Pittsburgh pizza. Oh, no. Oh, no. Something dinged at me. Don't worry. We'll fix it in post. But anyways, uh, I, I was off on a rat hole anyways. But 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 Pinterest has been something where I've been wrapping my head around and 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 uh, it's trying to figure out where where I fit in it. Uh, me personally, like what is my board? I like uh, sharing cosplay pictures, for instance, and geeky things. And, and maybe you'll see them uh, pop up on, on Facebook if you follow me on there. But uh, what do I do business-wise? One thing I do is... Uh, one thing that I do is that I, I dump everything that literally dump. I just go through and I, I, I Pinterest post everything we do for the week on, on this site, on, on other sites, on the video game site, on the, on the tech site, on the wrestling site that we do. And, and if nothing else, I have put that stuff into the Pinterest engine. And I get a lot of response from it. I actually find that the video game stuff from our friends at InstaCoinToBegin.com gets the most uh, reaction out of what I'm posting, at least, out of my original content, uh, uh, me and my friends and in, in, in our community here. Um, I think I think that's a that's a first step. I'm getting into the system, at least, right? Another point that I, I've really gotten into was analytics. If you don't know, if you're logged into Pinterest, even as a personal user as I am on here, um, and I do have a link to my SorgatronMedia.com, so I can actually see a little bit of, of back and forth, kind of like what, what's happening there as well. But if you go to analytics.pinterest.com, log into your account, you can see this amazing dashboard. It, it kind of reminds me a bit of uh, what you get for insight on pages for um, um, Facebook itself, and you can see the impressions. And I, I think this is respectable. I, I don't have anything to compare this to, but we're talking about, like, uh, for my personal stuff, 620 daily impressions. You see the spike when I, when I uh, probably from, like, last Wednesday when I posted everything uh, from the week. And, and, and you can drill down into this. So what is your audience? What is your Pinterest, Pinterest profile looking like? What is the activity from SorgatronMedia.com is the main site I have linked up here. How many impressions and viewers came or went from that? And you can start kind of seeing what kind of content works here. Again, the video game stuff seems to do the best for the most part. But I do get a little bit of a reaction and pin impressions from when I post from like, you know, old IWC wrestling things that I'm trying to sell. You know, a very curious uh, kind of thing. And, and, and I've adapted one of my clients that really fits into this. It's about health and, and wellness. So we have nutritional articles that we post as, as part of our content generation. Those get in there and those get the best reaction out of all the content that we're doing. So who are we talking to here? Um, one, 
I think a lot of people don't think of men when it comes to this. 55% of Pinterest users are women, but it's still a significant number of men in general. So I don't think it's a mistake to target them on this platform. I think it's very short-sighted. If you are just targeting women, well, it's the most. It's like, yeah, but look at that big number and look at that number of men. They quoted something uh, crazy like with GQ or something, um, you know, GQ plus some other magazines that there was more men than that. The audience is there. I'm seeing it with pro wrestling. I'm seeing it with video games, even though most of my viewers are still women when you, when you look at the demographics and the analytics. Other statement that really stuck out to me, and this was the biggie for how I'm kind of considering Pinterest, uh, that this is not, if I'm getting this right, this, this is the only platform that is future-based. What does that mean? That sounds like a really weird quote. This is the one that tells the future. But no, this is the one where in the classic examples abide here. Um, you're doing wedding planning. You're doing decoration planning. You're looking at recipes to make. You're organizing pieces of your life with visual representations on a pin board. Now that turns into what we're seeing with the uh, uh, the you can buy pins, purchasable pins coming up soon. So now all those things are in your board. Let's just go and buy them all right here. Everything that we put in this board and didn't delete, you know. I, and that's that's very very important for for retail, etc. Macy's is a part of this, for instance, right? Uh, and uh, and I think I think that's how you try to decide how to direct your story. Nutritional things, of course, that's going to fit very well because people are looking at healthy things. They're saying, okay, that's something for the health. That's a good thing for health. Uh, but it's not the, again, it's not the the the, the main look at things. Um, for me, I mean, the the obvious right hook kind of thing out of this is, is, is take all the DVDs and digital downloads that we're selling and make sure they're in here. I don't think we're going to be able to do that yet as far as making them purchasable in here yet because uh, they seem pretty limited. Uh, but it's something to keep an eye on. It's definitely something to keep an eye on. Uh, if you're making something, it should be on here. Brands brands make up two thirds of this. So you got to think how many things are you are you posting that's a brand? Even the stuff that I'm posting that's kind of fan art, it still kind of tracks back to a brand. Maybe they didn't post it, but it's still yeah, it's a Batman dress up, you know, or that's a Batman cartoon or or something like that. I'm still going back to that brand. Uh, you know, and I think I think that's, you know, what are you selling? Where is your story? Very visual, right? And uh, and then when you when you break down what you're trying to accomplish on Pinterest, um, you know, aside from the organization, aside from everything else, it, is it something that somebody's going to take and say, I'm planning to do X. I'm planning to decorate my room with a uh, with a uh, uh, comic book characters, for instance. Do you have comic book inspired art or something like that? What products make sense on Pinterest? And and again, I I still I still go down to maybe Pinterest isn't for everyone, but maybe I'm not thinking about things the right way. How do I brand Sorgatron Media on here? What do we do here? We uh, I'm talking about social media tips. I'm talking about video production. Part of that could be sharing social media tips. There's a lot of infographics. There's these videos that we do. We can put slides on there. I can start making slides out of this. Yeah, I have time to do that. Uh, but that, it's a content side we can do, something visual. Chilla was on AwesomeCast talking about how he uses it to look at Instagraphics and figure out the sources of, 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 of infographics on Pinterest. Tremendous kind of use I didn't think about. Uh, you know... There was a, a, an anecdote tonight about how people have Pinterest open on their phone going through the grocery store, basically using it as a shopping list. That's profound. You know, like the, that they're just using it as that functional list. How does that apply to you? Maybe Sogertron Media on top of things, we can start uh, uh, Pinterest thing like, hey, here's a kind of video that we did. Maybe you are planning for a wedding, say. And we have a ver various demo reels for, we can do this kind of video for this wedding, this kind of video for this wedding. I got a lot of ideas off the guy I worked with this weekend uh, for that. Now that I'm going into wedding production officially, 
uh, or anything like that. Uh, what can you break down to something that somebody would want to put on a board to plan for the future? What 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 is the thing that you're doing planning for the future? Is it nonprofit and talking about environmental? Well, that's planning for the future too. How can I help the environment as a board that can go on? Uh, you know, for me, like you know, uh, okay, uh, here's a, a sample of a of a of a video we did uh, uh, demonstrating X that. Uh, I'm planning how to make this project work and going in through Pinterest, you know, uh, even to the point where talking to a guy today, it's like, oh, well, I share, you know, beer things and, 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 and barbecue, you know, what, what, what purpose does have somebody have to pin it more than pff, how I've been using it? Oh, that's cool. Look at that. That's a funny video or uh, that's a funny uh, uh, image. And I share that. There's so much more to it. I'm really kind of scratching the surface when I do get to that. And I'm identifying that and trying to break that down and see what we can do with what we have here. What makes sense? What are people going to get into? And, and amazingly, you may have the source to that on what you're already doing if you dive into these analytics. I'm going to use these analytics potentially to break out different Pinterest pages based around these properties, wherever it makes sense, or at least how to form new ones. Let me know what you think. How are you using Pinterest? Are you a Pinterest power user? Love to hear some tips. Uh, at Sorgatron on the Twitters, or you can check us out at Sorgatron.com and leave a comment over there and find out how to subscribe to us on audio and video format so you never miss an episode. And we do attempt to do this four times a week, schedule allowing most of the time we're doing it. It's going to be very interesting the last next couple of weeks here towards the end of July because I will be returning to the Gathering of the Juggalos. We were a way different show when I was there last time. And so the theme will be interesting. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.